What's up, Pisces? What's poppin'? Let's do a little timeless reading. See what's going on for Pisces. Message. Or should I say, uh, what should I say? Notification or something? <laughs> Um, yeah, I am taking personal readings again, you guys. So you can go to PiscesRS.com to go ahead and book that if you're interested. Okay. And let's see what the energies are for you guys. What are the energy for Pisces? Energy for Pisces, God and the Spirit Universe. Energy messages that will help Pisces. Oh, now this deck don't want to talk to me. Okay. All right, Pisces, we have the Magician. Good shit. Ace of Wands and Four of Swords. A lot of fiery energy here. All right, could be dealing with the Gemini as well, or you have Gemini in your chart. Ace of Wands here. Leo energy. Uh, Four of Swords. Okay, so I feel like y'all are definitely in your manifestation mode, all right? What's new? We're always manifesting, right? All right, but with this Ace of Wands here, a lot of y'all could be thinking about passion. Back on this passion, all right? Sex. <laughs> for a lot of y'all thinking about sex, okay? Um, and with a particular person, for real, I feel like with the Four Swords, some of y'all are stuck in your head right now. Could quite possibly be thinking about um, somebody's offer in some way, shape, or form. I feel like you're resting. You are just contemplating, trying to figure out which way to go, who you or what do you want to move towards here. And you are really, 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 really using every single thing God has given you in this realm and the next to use all right you're super super connected here with this magician energy okay i don't see this as like a manipulative energy at all pisces i feel like this is your creation this is your manifestation your desires your will power and everything um that you've been working for or just dreaming about even in your off time pisces you guys come on we hop in fantasy world real quick especially with all the craziness happening right now fantasy world is where it's at okay and in fantasy world you're thinking about somebody all right you're thinking about something someone or some type of life something that you've been desiring upon for a long time um oh look at this little cute little is that a monkey so cute wow i don't know maybe y'all are dealing with animals some of y'all out there i don't know are you feel like an animal <laughs> with this person okay it's bringing out all types of desires and passionate energy but you're not making any real life moves here um it's a lot of stillness it's a lot of rest a lot of this um energy here this creative energy is in the it's in the i want to say the imagination phase all right you're imagining you're imagining can i clarify this for pisces what's going on with this Oh, nine of swords. Let me get one more. Okay, two more. Got the nine of swords in the reverse, Pisces. And then we had the, ooh. oh, that's why I missed my nails. Okay, Prince of Wands, okay, in the reverse, and the Hermit in the reverse. Wow, this is the first time I've seen the Hermit in this deck. Interesting. A super unique card. Um, I'm getting a lot of ancient, ancient, like, feelings here like a lot of y'all are just connected with the spiritual realm you're connecting with your ancestors you're connecting with your past your history a lot of you guys can just feel super empowered at this time okay but um you're coming up out of you're coming up out of that fear even though you are kind of afraid of what's to come um i feel like your willpower here pisces with this hermit energy in the reverse you're, you're trying to come up out of that isolation all right you're trying to come up out of being so caught up in your head here contemplating every freaking move being so afraid to make a move um prince of wands in the reverse yeah could be dealing with someone younger um fiery or someone who just has a younger spirit a youthful energy um but yeah you could feel like you don't really know direction wise where to go because you're just a bit too uh, hesitant all right you're a bit too hesitant fearful i don't know what it is some impulsive type of energy it's like you're trying to c control this impulsive type of desire to go towards something because you don't want to screw it up honestly i think that may be what it is 
you're way more comfortable being in the fantasy world with these things than being in the real world. Because if you're in the real world with the person of your dreams or you're in the real world with the job of your dreams, you could screw it up. You could drop the ball, right? That's what I'm sensing your fear is, Pisces. All right. But unless you try, you'll never know. All right. So you can't just sit in this this imaginatory type of energy. You can't just imagine things um, and, and think they're going to drop out the sky. All right. There has to be actionary steps. There has to be some type of initiative taken in this real life dimension in this in this real life time um, frame so that things can start to form together here. All right. Even though it may be fearful, even though even though you may be fearful, even though it may be a bit uh, scary or intimidating. Um, I feel like ultimately you you've had enough time to think about things. You've had enough rest. You've relaxed enough. Um, and you've created a lot of a lot of good things that you need to implement or you visualize a lot of amazing um, times, passionate desires. It's something that you are visualizing in your in your head and you feel it in your soul, but it just hasn't manifested yet. But it's on its way. You know, the magician was upright. So, you know what to do to get it there. Um, but you have to come up out of this hermit type of energy. All right. I feel like you are in isolation. All right. It, you you do feel lonely, whether you admit that or not. There is a, a part of you that is lonely and that is desiring some sort of um, connection, some sort of um, passion. All right. Even if it's not in a romantic sense, it's still like you're not full. You're not complete with what it is you're, you're currently doing. OK, but those. Those moves, they just have to be made. The, the the steps have to be taken. All right. So let's see. I'm going to pull some advice. Can you get advice for Pisces. Outcome at this time. The situation. I'm trying to switch my um, the sage ash spell everywhere, y'all. It's all good. So we have the Princess of Wands upright. I love it. Nine of Pentacles upright. I love it. And we got the Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, so this is good. This is good. I think this is good, Pisces. I feel like you're going to finally get that, that push, all right, that confidence that you need to really get things moving, to get yourself moving. Um, you're going to explore. You're going to be excited. You're coming up out of this hurt. You're coming up out of this disappointment this betrayal all right whoever has betrayed you in the past let you're letting it go you have to you can't expect everyone to put these knives in your back anymore you can't walk around with that type of weight on you all right you just can't all right this nine of pentacles things are coming gain all right you're gaining a lot a lot of abundance your flowers are blooming you're picking them all right you have plenty you have plenty and you're pretty, you're pretty secure within yourself, within your, um, independence. All right. So if you are single, it, you're supposed to be at this time and you'll know when to make that move and explore and you'll know when it's safe again, when you feel safe again. All right. A lot of y'all are acting or not acting because of fearfulness of repeating some past type of experiences. Okay, but truly, honestly, I, I know that you guys are coming up out of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull, I want to pull, I don't know if this was a romance reading or not, but shoot, I want to pull a romance, um, a romance card. So I haven't pulled these in a minute. So let's see, can we get a message for Pisces? God and Spirit Universe, what's the romance message for Pisces? And I'm going to do an affirmation card. So let's get an affirmation for Pisces. At this time, what will help Pisces? Act. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. All right. Deception and codependency. Wow. A false mask. Somebody's going to take off their false mask. Pisces. Deception in the reverse. All right, somebody who's been putting up some type of front or not showing you who they truly are, maybe hiding some things, maybe not showing you the trueness of a situation. 
codependency here could be yeah could be involved with um you know holding on to bad habits here old beliefs some type of old cycle old chain i feel like somebody's going to release that deception in the reverse i feel like that's a good thing honestly because these these masks they, they can't stay on forever all right with people with situations you know how you start a new job and it's like amazing for the first like 30 days and then you're like 90 days you're like shit what the hell did i sign up for you know it's like you can't fake it for too long so i feel like somebody can't fake it anymore they're either going to pull off their mask and tell you what it truly is here and also codependency or some type some type of addiction could be facing your romantic life so whether you need to let go of some type of um, addictive or codependent behavior or someone else does, it's definitely taking a part here in your romantic life. All right. This this intention card says act. So it says upon waking, I'm ready to act on my passions. OK, passions and dreams okay so there's a lot of passionate energy like i said earlier it's going to come up out of that dream world pisces and it's going to be in the real world okay so i truly hope these messages helped you please let me know if they did in the comments below if you're looking for a personal you can go to piscesrus.com and you guys please turn on your notifications because i have some super cool surprises coming up um some interesting readings that have been requested so i don't want y'all to miss that okay so i will talk to you guys later bye